Hi there. So today I want to share with you a rotary valve cylinder head, not to be confused with a Wankel. Um, developing the cylinder head for the 4G63 motor. The first thing I did is reverse engineer the stock cylinder head um, by drying it up in CAD. And the reason I did this is I really wanted a good uh, understanding of the way the uh, stock head works. And I wanted to have all the mounting locations for all the accessories and bolt-on items so that I could make a, a cylinder head that uh, is bolt-on as possible. And what I mean by that is it requires very little modification for the engine and car that it would be going into. So after I did that, I designed the uh, rotary valve head. And here's the uh, design for the actual head casting that I came up with. Here, this view is the uh, cylinder head with uh, all the parts and the valve cover and the valves. Um, you can see there, there's an intake and an exhaust valve. It's kind of a ball valve type of design. Um, the rest of the valves and some of the other duplicate uh, components are uh, omitted from the view just to make the view a little uh, less busy and easier to look at. I did do a little bit of uh, preliminary CFD work on the uh, port design, um, but uh, I didn't I didn't get too far on that. There's a lot of room for optimization on this uh, left to be done, and I went ahead and got started on the, uh, the uh, casting the actual design. So to do that, I had to come up with the uh, all the molds for casting the head. Here's an exploded view of all the the sand molds and cores um, that are used for the actual casting. Um, so once I got that done, for the first casting I actually 3D printed all the molds out of the plaster material. This worked okay, not as good as I was hoping for. Um, the main problem was um, getting all the core uh, gases properly vented out. Um, the, the big problem was in the water jacket core. Uh, you'll see in the very last picture, this just really made a mess because of the core blows. Basically what I mean by that is all the hot gases trying to escape out of the plaster mold material basically bubbled through the, the molten, the metal while it was still molten and just made a really big mess. But stay tuned, I have come up uh, with a usable casting and I'd like to uh, share some more videos in the near future of... Uh, that process and the end result. Thanks for watching.